welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, I just gonna bring a short video and show you uh, how my plants are doing, and uh, update you from last week. Uh, what I've done last uh, after last video, uh, I went out and I planted my squash plants uh, for the you no know, rain came in. The ground was still muddy, but you know, I didn't have much choice. I just took my hoe and. Uh, dug up some mounds uh, that I had left over from last year. Just kind of dug them up and got my plants uh, planted. And uh, I don't really like doing it that way, but I didn't have much of a choice because of the you know, rain coming in and the squash plants are just getting really big. So I had to do, do what I had to do on that. But I believe it'll be all right. And uh, so I know this week uh, I have plans of getting these uh, cucumber plants uh, set out. We're going to have about four four or five days of uh, good dry weather and you see how big they're getting and my uh, the market more cucumbers I got them transplanted uh, the same day that I put my squash uh, plants out but you see how nice they look right here and there's some little cantaloupe plants right there so I'll be getting these uh, transplanted in the next couple of days right here these are these uh, brandy wine tomatoes I planted um, I didn't use the pot and soil that uh, I used on these other ones. I want to try some of this uh, soil that I had uh, composting out back. So I just uh, decided to use that. And you can see right here, they've already started coming up. I've got one cup right here that um, hasn't came up. But these other ones right here, they're, they're coming up. So we'll see how they do over time. And I'm just curious to see how this new uh, grow light works out. And... Uh, so I'll keep you all updated on that. Right here you can see the tomato and paper plants. They look real nice. And uh, I water these um, every other day. I don't water these plants every day. And uh, so everything's working good on that. And you can see my little bell pepper plants right there. Got a nice color to them. Um, it take a while for them to come on up real good. But... Uh, they're doing good and these different tomato plants over here you can see they're got a nice color to them growing real nice there so I'm real happy with everything this year uh, i haven't ever really had much trouble out my plants with these uh regular four foot uh grow lights and these these lights they're not the led lights these just regular um I forgot the bulb. Is a T8 or something like that fluorescent bulb, but they're a daylight bulb that they seen them. So there's uh, a little bit different, you know, as far as that. But I've never had no problem. You see my plants; they 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 doing pretty good. Uh, I'm sure the more expensive lights, grow lights, are made specifically for the plants. You know, they're going to be better. But I've just kind of used what I got and what's worked for me in the. So I'm, you know, content with that, you know. Sometimes, you know, it pays to try new things. And uh, like this year, you know, in my garden, I'm going to be doing some, trying some little individual raised beds. I guess you can say not like maybe a full a length raised bed, but little individual uh, raised beds uh, to conserve on pot and soil, different things I've got to purchase. Um, Cause in the years past my soil has got so much clay in it and it's going to take a lot of mending different type uh manure and different things in it to uh, get it where i really need it and uh, that takes a lot of money and a lot of time and uh, i just haven't invested that much into my soil and uh, um, i really need to because you know without good soil your plants not you know they're not going to grow to you know the you know extent that they could if you had a good soil and your fruit production vegetable production is going to be down so uh, i'm going to try that and i'll bring y'all along to show you how you know what i'm doing and um and uh hopefully everything works out good i, I know in the past couple years my gardens you know they, they 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 do good for a while i guess you know and uh i know last my last garden it was like my corn and stuff it just didn't do real good and so this year I, what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be downsizing some things and 
focus more on uh, quality instead of the, uh, I guess you say the quantity, because uh, I put a lot of work in the years past, and I don't know the uh, the quantity and the quality has not been where it needed to be. So you know, it's a you got to find that right balance and and find you know find out what works for you. But um, with that being said, uh, we're doing uh, doing this collaboration here. These starting these seeds with uh, two two more channels, uh, Pete from Cheap Homesteading and Dunny from Homesteading with Heberts. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you are probably familiar uh, with these channels, and uh, some of you may not be. But uh, if y'all would, just go over and uh, give them a visit. Uh, them are two great channels. Uh, they, they live up in the northern states, and actually Pete, you know, he lives in Canada. So, you know, they're going to be starting their gardens at different times. Uh, but, you know, Everybody does a different way of, you know, planting their seeds and uh, starting the seeds and doing the garden a little bit different, you know. So it'd be real interesting. But if y'all would go there and, and uh, visit with them and give them some support, and you know, we can always learn from each other. And them two great guys, uh, I well, like all all, all my uh, friends on YouTube. I call all of you my friends because y'all are, and. Um, we can like i say we can learn and grow together and uh that's what that's what i enjoy about uh youtube and meeting all the different uh channels out there because so much you can learn from each other and uh we're just gonna have fun this year with this collaboration and uh but um i guess i'll go ahead and uh cut this video short uh because i gotta get in bed y'all <laughs> i wind up uh doing this video late i've been out there working in my shop and uh, so uh, I kind of got behind on my. I tried, you know, get y'all video out every Friday if I can. And and um, right now we're going to be focused on these plants and showing y'all how the garden process is going along. But I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate all my new subscribers, and uh, we appreciate everyone uh, taking your time, you know, watching our videos. But friends, as always, from my family to yours. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.